Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, has been tested. The test was jointly conducted by U.S. Missile Defense Agency, Ballistic Missile Defense System Operational Test Agency, and U.S. Army soldiers of the E-62 Battery, 11th Air Defense Artillery Brigade. During the test, a THAAD system located at U.S. Army Garrison Kwajalein Atoll in the Republic of the Marshall Islands was used. The THAAD system was able to detect, track, and interpret the dummy target. This was the 16th successful intercept in 16 attempts for the THAAD system since 2005. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes successful interception of missile by Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. Thad. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense is a United States Army anti-ballistic missile system, which is designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. The THAAD system is being designed, built, and integrated by Lockheed Martin Space Systems, acting as a prime contractor. Key subcontractors include Raytheon, Boeing, Aerojet, Honeywell, and BAE Systems, to name a few. THAAD is strictly a ballistic missile defense system and is not designed for general air defense duties like defense against aircraft. It's considered to be one of the best when it comes to ballistic missile defense systems, having been designed from the ground up for this purpose. THAAD is engineered to defend against ballistic missiles in challenging scenarios, like even if the rival launches a barrage of missiles and simultaneous interception of multiple missile is required. The system is quick to deploy and mobile, which makes it a very flexible weapon. An important aspect is that it's compatible with other systems, like Patriot Pac-3, and is designed to integrate into the Ballistic Missile Defense System BMDS, of the U.S. military. The THAAD missile is manufactured at a Lockheed Martin facility near Troy, Alabama. The facility performs final integration assembly and testing of the THAAD missile. THAAD system consists mainly of three components – radar, battle manager, and missile launch battery. The THAAD missiles are guided by the Raytheon Systems ANTPY-2 ground-based radar GBR. It's developed and built by Raytheon at its Andover, Massachusetts Integrated Air Defense Facility. THAAD can also be queued by military satellites such as Brilliant Eyes. The ANTPY-2 Surveillance Transportable Radar, also called the Forward-Based X-Band Transportable FBXT, is a long-range, very high-altitude, active electronically scanned array surveillance radar. It possesses a range of 2,900 miles or 4,700 kilometers. It has two modes, one to detect ballistic missiles as they rise and another that can guide interceptors towards a descending warhead. Since the radar uses X-band frequency and narrow beam widths, it's good at isolating smaller objects, such as a warhead, versus space debris. The radar passes information related to the threat such as speed and trajectory to the battle manager. The battle manager is basically the brain for the system, and it extrapolates the information received by it, predicts the path for the incoming missile, and directs interceptors against it. The interceptor missile is around 6 meters in length and is equipped with a single-stage solid-fuel rocket motor with thrust vectoring. 
The missile has a speed of Mach 8.24 or 2.8 km per second. The guidance system is indium antimonide imaging, coupled with infrared seeker head. It has an operational range of 200 km or around 125 miles and a flight altitude of 150 km or 93 miles. The missile has no explosives and uses hit-to-kill approach. It has a kinetic kill vehicle to knock out incoming missiles. A THAAD battery can include up to nine transporter erector launchers, each carrying eight interceptors for immediate launch. Their supporting equipment, which includes storage and reloading systems, that will enable refill of interceptors when the first batch is used up. The test was planned in such a way that it replicates a battlefield situation as closely as possible. Soldiers from the E-62 battery conducted radar operations, launcher and fire control operations using the same procedure they would use during combat. Simulating a real-world scenario, soldiers were unaware of the target launch timing. The ANTPY-2 radar of THAAD detected, acquired and tracked the target. The THAAD system then calculated the course of the incoming projectile and launched the interceptor. The interceptor missile was able to destroy the target. The important aspect is that THAAD is now a fully distributed system. That's the radar, battle management and the THAAD launcher are physically present in different locations. This is the first time THAAD was tested in this mode. Richard McDaniel, Vice President of Upper Tier Integrated Air and Missile Defense Systems at Lockheed Martin, said, The enhanced THAAD system performed flawlessly in today's test, and we're proud to support the Missile Defense Agency and U.S. Army as they continue to demonstrate the system's unmatched capabilities. This successful test paves the way for delivery of an urgent need capability that will enhance THAAD's emplacement options resulting in greater asset protection. Senior MDA Vice Admiral John A. Hill said, The Missile Defense Agency is committed to supporting the warfighter, and we're proud of the success and the U.S. Army soldiers who executed this flight test. This demonstrates the expanding capabilities of the THAAD weapon system and its ability to intercept and destroy ballistic missile threats in defense of our nation, deployed forces and allies. While initial indications show the test met its primary objective, program officials will continue to evaluate system performance based on telemetry and other data obtained during the test. THAAD is a key element of the U.S. ballistic missile defense umbrella. Recently, THAAD was deployed to Israel as part of Dynamic Force Employment Exercise. The Dynamic Force Employment Exercise is designed to evaluate the logistic and technical challenges of transporting a system like THAAD to Israel, setting it up and integrating it with air defenses of Israel Defense Forces IDF. U.S. military's latest missile defense review, which was published by the Pentagon in January 2019, has a mention of THAAD and called for enhancement in cooperation with regional allies, such as Israel. The Missile Defense Review stated, One of Iran's primary tools of coercion and force projection is its missile arsenal, which is characterized by increasing numbers as well as increases in accuracy, range and lethality. The Missile Defense Review further noted, The United States will sustain its strong missile defense partnership with Israel, underpinned by a new U.S.-Israel Memorandum of Understanding MOU taking advantage of various opportunities to conduct bilateral exercises the united states and israel continue to improve their capability to cooperate operationally to address offensive missile threats in the region israel has a lot of experience with air defense and the u.s could use those to enhance thad like all systems thad is not foolproof the vulnerability and lethality analysis of the thad have been conducted by the U.S. Army Research Laboratory ARL. The vulnerability assessment for the THAAD featured an evaluation of the effects of major electromagnetic elements. These include EM interference, 
EM radiation operations, EM radiation hazards, EM pulse, electrostatic discharge, and lightning effects on components of the THAAD system. Though the reports are classified, it's safe to assume that THAAD will see continued enhancements to improve its capabilities. Lockheed is pushing for funding for the development of the extended range ER, version of the THAAD to counter maturing threats posed by hypersonic glide vehicles that adversaries may deploy, namely the Chinese WU-14, to penetrate the gap between low and high altitude missile defenses. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.